Hey, 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 how's it going, people? It's been a while, hasn't it? A month, maybe, or so? <laughs> but anyway, we're doing another, 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 another cookie with gross tonight. And it's Halloween themed. Yes, aren't you excited? I'm excited. Goofy's excited. What's the last shirt we wore? I think it was Cookie Monster, wasn't it? Or was it a plain shirt? Last time was a plain shirt, time before that was Cookie Monster. Tonight it's Goofy, he's gonna be cooking with us tonight. And we're gonna be starting this very shortly, but you know how this works when you're cooking with Goodwill, right? You got to have a drink. Doesn't that look spooky? Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Can you take a guess what that is? Mm -hmm. All right, so first things first, we are going to carve a pump. Why do you have a plunger on your head? I don't know. So we're going to carve a pumpkin, but we're actually going to make something out of this pumpkin tonight to uh, help you out with your Halloween party. Kind of pretty cool uh, thing that we're going to do. So we're going to get this going here in a minute, but you know, I'm still waiting for you guys to get your drinks because we can't do this without drinks and your pumpkin. You get your pumpkin yet? Yeah. I'll wait right here while you run to the store and get a pumpkin. Don't forget your drink. I'll be waiting. All right, guys, you ready to get this going? First, we're going to want to cut this pumpkin open, but you're going to want something to put all the guts into, like a plastic bag, you can grab your garbage can, put it right here, uh, a big bowl or something to throw everything in. In this case, we got this, I put a plastic bag in there. So when I be scooping everything out, it's gonna be going right in here, okay? So, first thing you need to choose the knife to cut out the top, right? Knife. So, huh, sorry, <laughs> Jason gave this one to me. It's not the knife we wanna use. Here, take this back. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so, like I said, you need a knife to cut the top, right? Knife. So, this is Michael Myers' knife. <laughs> I don't need that one. I need a pumpkin knife, people. All right, here we go. I'm gonna use my pocket knife. So, you're just gonna wanna insert and stab. And then cut all the way around. Um, you're going to want to make sure that it's big enough to put your hand or whatever scooper in there. Uh, you know, the scooper. You know, yeah, you got to make sure that's big enough to roll that way. So, cut your pumpkin, start carving. See you in a minute. All right, we'll cut all the way through. Time to pull it off. That came off pretty easy. Uh, calm down, ladies. Oh. So, pull it off. Now we got the hole inside to scoop out. So get the scooping. First, <gasps> where's my drink? <laughs> I thought Jason or Michael might have took it. No, 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 no. It's not Friday the 13th, people. Okay. Cheers. Now scoop. Oh, before you scoop, you may want to cut all this off right here. Just a little tip. That's what she said. So, while you're carving out your pumpkin, and I'm carving out mine, any guesses what we're gonna be making out of this? Any guesses? Mm. Yummy. Ah. Oh, sorry, I haven't drank that much yet. Oh, should I give you a hint? Here, it starts with carving a pumpkin. Oh, and while you're doing this, you can save or pick out seeds, and later we can probably make a little bit of uh, baked pumpkin seeds. Kids usually like that too. So, all right. Well, keep scraping. Oh, come on. Get, get out of Woo. Man. Get out of there. Hell yeah. Right. Get 
casa. Okay, guys, my thing is kind of full there, well, half full. You can see my pumpkin's pretty much clean in there. I'm gonna clean a little bit more. But the entire time I was doing that, I was picking out some seeds. Hopefully you picked out some seeds too. So let me clean this out just a little bit more. I'm gonna fill it up with water and just get a little bit of that loose strandage of the pumpkin guts out of there. Especially seeing that me and Goofy got the pumpkin poop cleaned off our face. Okay guys, I filled it up with uh, hot water, rinsed it around and stuff, got it pretty much all cleaned out. You can see, uh, poured it out. This is the stuff I'm talking about that I got out. And now we're gonna move on to what we were making with it. Did you guys guess what it is yet? Did you guess? You're slacking. Take a drink. All right guys, so I looked at my pumpkin, tried to figure out which side I was gonna do what I wanted to do with. I chose this side. Now here's what we're doing. I bought this on Amazon. It's specifically made for pumpkins and watermelons. And it has a little thing right here. You guys know what this is? That's right. It's a hole punch. Ah! Thank God this isn't like the last one or we've been taking a shot right then. But we're gonna choose to go all right, about there. I'm gonna take this thing. Ooh, my table's rolling. All right, let me put a little pressure on this baby. There we go. Pop right through. There's our little thing. There's our little pee pee hole. See? Yep. Okay. Well, let's show you exactly what it is. You should hopefully you guessed it by now. We're making a pumpkin cake. Yes, we are. That's how we're gonna start this off first. So this thing is actually called Uncle Norman uh, Tap. It's, like I said, it's made for pumpkins or uh, watermelons and stuff, specifically for parties like this. Well, there's no party except me, Michael and Jason, which you guys don't see, they're just chilling. So you're gonna take this little thing and screw this all the way up. So it's flush, they said. I'm gonna take this part, stick it right into that hole. There it goes. Then this screw right on here like that. Ooh. There we go. Hopefully this thing screws back down. Make that part nice and tight. Here we go. Now this little part. Oh. Kind of broke our pumpkin a little bit inside. Ugh. Ugh. It's okay. You can see the inside where this is gonna go. Maybe. And getting that screwed on there nice and tight. You can hear that, right? Just. There we go, that's in there pretty good. Ah. So this is actually a good thing for parties, right? For adults, the alcohol will go in here. We're about to test this out, about to put it in there. This is also great for the little kids' uh, Halloween parties too. Just put the apple juice in here. So any kid watching this, you put juice in here, okay? Nothing else, just juice. So something I did not buy though, that would be kind of cool after putting all the liquid in here or the alcohol or the juices in here is if you bought some dry ice put a little dry ice in there 
put your little lid on there, not tight, just, you know, so it's loose like this. And then the smoke from the dry ice and the liquid just boil out of it, which would be pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna test this out. Let's start. If you guys didn't know, we are using pumpkin cider. Yes. Look at that. As soon as we're done with this, we will actually start the cooking segment. <laughs> but this is to get you led up to, you know, the alcohol part you should be having. But we had to have alcohol to do this too, right? It went in. Now, I'm probably not gonna have a lot of cider. <laughs> not enough, I drank two of them earlier, last week. Okay. Yeah, this barely filled it up. Just enough to go over the spigot there. I'm gonna have to tilt it forward. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, so I had to tilt the pumpkin forward uh, on the edge like this because uh, I just didn't have enough cider in there for it. But you can see what we're dealing with. So far, so good. I see a little drip out of the spigot here. Well, let's grab a glass. Test it out. Look at that. Bet you guys know a pumpkin could a pee, huh? Yeah. All right, but there we go. Still looks like it's working pretty good. So like I said, just a little drip. So when you have it up on your table, maybe put a little towel under it. But cheers, time to get the cooking starting. Mmm, pumpkin cider coming from a pumpkin cake. Look at that. All right, our pumpkin cake is done. Great little idea, it's awesome. Now I'm gonna clean and sanitize this table and then we'll start the cooking session. All right? All righty then. What do you say, Goofy? Let's get it going? Yep. Hey, you got some pumpkin on you. Yeah, me, there you go. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, so it's time to start the cooking thing. The table's been all cleaned up and all that. Got our pumpkin cider out of our pumpkin cake. Kids, this will be your apple juice. Oh. Mm. So, we're going to try to make, uh, hopefully I'm successful at it, uh, pumpkin puff pastry balls. But you didn't know that a pumpkin had balls, did you? Nope. <laughs> all right. So first I'm going to start with the pumpkin, uh, the puff pastry, an ice cube tray, yes, an ice cube tray, and flour. I'm going to take a little bit of flour and just sprinkle just a little bit, just like that. So that way my puff pastry, when I go to lay it over here and push it down in there, it doesn't stick to this one. I got to pull it out. I would probably usually use spam, spam, <laughs> pam spray or something, uh, but I don't have any. So flour will work just fine like that. So yeah, let's start doing that. We're gonna get this cut open. So I'm gonna get this pastry out of this roll here. <laughs> just roll it on out. Oh, roll it, roll it, roll it. Let's keep this pastry going. Yes, wow, that's pretty thick. This is actually my first time ever messing with a puff pastry. Believe it or not, it's really thick. I feel like I should roll it out somewhat. It's okay. I'm gonna lay it right over the ice cube tray like that. Make sure it's centered up because eventually what we're gonna end up doing is folding that over. 
if we have enough. So, let me redo that a little bit. There we go. So it's on there. Now we're gonna be pushing this down in to the little holes here. You see how I'm doing that? Cause it's freaking tearing. I'm not liking that. All right, so we're gonna take our puff pastry and get it off that damn thing. And I ain't gonna lay it the long way cause I think it's way too small for it. So we're gonna go the smaller way. So we'll leave a couple holes here. But when you do this, you wanna kinda press it down into these little ice cube tray holes like that. The problem is it wants to tear. So I'm very carefully pushing it down there before it wants to tear. We're getting it in there. Girls, calm down, just because you see the fingers going in the hole. Jeez, sickos. I know what you're thinking. Okay. Yeah. So we got it shoved down in there, if you can see that. Let me... Problem is, it kind of wants to tear, so I think I need another type of puff pastry, or I should have rolled it out, but you kind of see how I stuffed it down in there. All right. And after we put our pumpkin and all of our stuff in there, this will be folded over like that. So let's go on to the next step. All right, guys, so tonight I'm actually going to cheat. Um, I'm going to use my blender because I haven't got one of those hand ones that go woo type thing. And other times, usually when I'm using whipped cream, I usually use my bowl and just go ee! But I'm not doing that tonight. I'm just going to throw it in the blender. So right now I'm going to put two cups of my pumpkin spice whipped cream in. You guys been drinking, I hope? Better be. It's cooking them good, bro. You know you're supposed to drink when you cook them good, bro, right? One. Two. We got our two cups in there. Now I'm just going to turn my blender. I'm going to turn my blender on low after I put the lid on. That would be all messy, wouldn't it? Don't worry, people. I got the ninja. Ninja. All right, so we got it in there. We're going to put it on low. And now, baby, I'm with you. Yeah. As we're letting that work up, I already free. Can you hear me? No? No? As that's whipping in there, I already got Confucius sugar. Confucius says, man with hands in pocket all day feel a little cocky. That was Confucius, right? I don't know. <laughs> we got Confucius uh, sugar, about a half cup in there. And as this is whipping, I'm going to be pouring that in there. Now we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. 
Yeah. One. And a half. There's that. Now we're gonna mix it up just a little bit more. Back on low. So I'm gonna take this off. I can smell it. it. Smells like pumpkin. We're gonna take our pumpkin puree, about 15 ounce can worth, and throw it in here. Yummy! Look at that. Look at that. Ew. There we go. Looks like a baby threw up. Jesus. Now we're gonna put that back on here. And let it get it all mixed up again. Whoopsie. You guys are coming over to do the dishes, I hope. All right, back on low. Got all mixed up. I got it all mixed up, as you can see there. Puff pastries look in sad shapes. So I don't know if this is gonna work, uh, but I am gonna take a spoon after I take a drink. Hope you guys are too. As well as you know, the last 20 minutes, my oven's actually been preheating at 400 degrees to get ready for this. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this filling though. Put it in there like so. And each one of these little cube holes. We'll probably put a little bit more in that one. There's probably an easier way to do this, like just pour it out, I don't know. You guys gotta remember. I just go by what pops in my head a little bit. I'm kind of weird like that. So we'll just get all these filled up and we'll go on to the next step. All right, there you guys go. So you can see it. each one of those little cube holes are filled up with a filling into that puff pastry. And now I'm going to fold this up and over. Just like that. Push down. I'm going to take a little bit of this. <laughs> so I have a little hole right there. Fill that up. Okay. Now I'm actually going to put this in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes to cool it down and kind of make it a little rough for when I go to pull it out. It doesn't just tear. And hopefully it will harden up enough that it will just fall right out. So 10 minutes in the fridge. In the meantime, hopefully you guys didn't forget about your pumpkin seeds. I got them in this little bowl, put a little bit of water in there. I'm gonna clean and get them all cleaned up. Just kind of good like that, get the gunk and stuff off of them. As we still gonna do something with these too. All right, so my seeds are all cleaned up, dried off a little bit. I ain't got many of them, but I am just gonna add a little bit of oil, not in this cap full, like a quarter of this cap or half of the cap in there. Just enough. Even people use butter, that might be better. And get them a little oiled up here. There we go. They're all oiled up. You can see they're nice and shiny. You're like, I can't see none. There we go. I'm gonna add some sugar to them. Not even that much. I got sugar all in my hand. And then I'm gonna add some cinnamon to them. There we go. Get that all mixed up. Mm. It smells like elephant here. 
Bring in a little bit of oil, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of cinnamon. And now they're ready for the next step. We're seeing that I didn't have many seeds. I just got a little, a little tiny can with a little bit of tin foil. I'm put them in here. Mm. Like so. Spread them all out. Usually it's better if you have a, a cookie pan or something, cookie sheet. You can spread them all out evenly on there. Come on. Then you can cook these. There's a lot of different people that say different temperatures, uh, 300 degrees for 45 minutes, uh, 400 at 30 minutes, blah, blah, blah. Uh, just look it up. <laughs> I'm probably gonna do uh, the 400 degrees at 30 minutes I'm gonna try. There you go. We got them all spread out. It'll be like that. We'll throw them into the oven here shortly. Hmm. Another drink. All right, so I just pulled the puff pastry out of the uh, fridge. It is pretty tough. Hopefully it stays together. Pulling it out here. Hopefully. Come on, baby. You can do it. You can do it all night long. Not the prettiest, but as you can see, it came out, got our little balls there, <laughs> pumpkin balls. So that's perfect. Well, in my opinion, that's perfect because it's my first time doing it. So now we got to move on to the next step. Next, I'm going to cut off this extra dough that we don't need. Come on. Should have did this earlier, but I didn't. I didn't. That. Okay. So there's that. I'm going to take the fork. This side, I'm going to push all the way around the edges like that. You can see how I'm doing that. Yes. It's kind of like sealing it when I do that, if you can see it. Okay. See how I did that? So it kind of pushes it all down and gives it a seal around the edges there. And next we got to make an egg wash, which is usually just a cracked egg. Sometimes certain egg washes will be mixed with a milk or water or something, or it could just be the egg straight up, just scrambled in the bowl. Now the only problem with this is I don't have a little brush. I'm going to try to improvise. You know, the egg's all beat, if you can see that. I'm just going to try to put it on the fork a little bit and kind of brush it on there. That's where usually when you have those little brushes for cooking, usually you see them for like people that are marinating meat and stuff. I don't know what that's for, but we're gonna kind of put it on with the fork here. Just careful not to poke a hole into the thing. Just 
lightly brush it off the egg all through the top and around the puff pastry here. Got our egg wash on there, as you can see. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk over here in our preheated oven that's been preheated for a long time. And we're gonna stick it in for, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. I'll do 25 and I'll check it. And at the same time, I'll put the pumpkin seeds in too. So I just pulled the puff pastry out the oven and uh, it blew out the side. And I knew exactly why that did. Uh, the puff pastry actually was super thin right there. I remember when I folded it over, it was very in. I already saw a little bit of the pumpkin filling coming out then. So kind of my fault. Maybe I'll have to try this at another day. But we'll still let it cool down and give it a try and hopefully there's still a bunch in here and stuff. Well, it didn't turn out the way I was hoping it would turn out, but I still tried to make something out of it. So I took uh, vanilla frosting, took some food coloring, two drops red, three yellow to make the orange. Took a little bit of chocolate to make the little face on there. Uh, we'll definitely let it completely cool overnight and I'll give it a try tomorrow. Yippers! So, hopefully you guys liked uh, this video. I was not dancing tonight, probably because I'm tired. Working all day and came home and did this. Probably why I messed up my puff pastry too. I'll be trying this again though. Uh, what I was really trying to do is trying to make um, the little squares. That's why I used the ice cube tray. And I was going to make little tiny puff balls and make little tiny pumpkins out of them. Uh... But I know what I did wrong. Uh, I will correct it next time. But until next time, Happy Halloween!